Waterproofing locations. Waterproofing under the screed instead of on top. Common building practice is to waterproof under the sand cement screed. This is the quickest method of construction. When you waterproof on top of the screed, you have to wait for the screed to dry, slowing construction time. Most substrates do not have inbuilt fall, meaning they are at best flat, but usually running in the wrong direction towards the house. Then we waterproof them. And then we install the screed and we stick tiles to the screed followed by ground. When movement occurs, small cracks appear, allowing water access to the screed. The screed, which is porous, soaks up a large amount of water, making the whole structure heavier, which leads to cracking quicker. But now the screed is full of water, sitting on top of your waterproofing, which is running in the wrong direction, just waiting to find a crack for water damage to occur. In comparison, when the waterproofing is on top of the screed, there is a natural water runoff, so the water is not sitting on the screed in the first place. The most likely candidate for leaky balcony has a timber frame with stone tiles where the waterproofing is under the screed. Although this is most likely, you will see a lot of variations. The same is true for showers. The difference between waterproofing on top of the screed, where there is fall to the waist compared to waterproofing below the screed, is amplified in this application of high use area. From our experience, all showers will leak because of movement. Movement is the main contributing factor. It is impossible to repair the leaky wet air with a remedial application that will not work with future movement. 